Okay, so we're in 2.2, .2, adding your first layers. And I've got QGIS installed. The sample data, where's the sample data? Make sure you've got the sample data where you know it is. Let me take a look and see mine. I'm pretty sure it's in Dropbox, QGIS, exercise data. Yeah, this is the sample data. Okay, so it's there. I know where it is. And I've got um, QGIS open. It says new empty project. So I click over there. And that, um, that's got me down to here. Prepare a map. Okay. The next thing, <clears throat> the data source manager dialog. I was going to choose the data to load. Data source manager. Where is that? That's this thing right here. Okay. See the little green plus sign down at the bottom? It could be in a very different place depending on how you've got your toolbars arranged. Okay. Load the protected area. So we got to click on this. And click on the vector tab. Enable the file source type. Okay, that's clicked. And Press the dot 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 button next to vector data set. Let's see, let's get that down here. Vector data set, there's the dot dot dot. Click on that. And now we select the exercise data shapefile protected areas.shp in your training directory. So we know where that is. That's in Dropbox. You just exercise data shape file and then we want to get the protected areas dot shp that'll drag these other parts along with it okay so now this looks okay and we're going to add it Okay, so add it. And close. And I've got a different color than in scrolling. You hit the scroll wheel on your mouse, it'll do things like that. Okay, that's enough of a demo. Let's see how this is working.